love is boring. I cannot stand driving in the Virginias because all the freaking hills, like, ah! It is a beautiful day in beautiful Cleveland, Ohio. And it sucks because today, I'm going back to school, guys. I'm driving back to South Carolina. So, I'm gonna take you guys with me. And we're going on a road trip. So, my drive is about eight and a half hours. I'm probably going to drive four hours, then take a little break, and then do my next four and a half hours. I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna go with the flow. This is my third time doing this drive, so. I mean, I got this down pick, you know? It's gonna be straight, it's gonna be cool. Nothing too, you know, nothing too crazy. So, let's get right on into it. This was so emotional because my mom recently broke her knee and it's just me and my mom in the household. So to leave her and go back to school was just really difficult because if you know me, you know I love my mom with all my heart. All right, all right, no more crying, no more crying. Okay. Let's get this hand sanitizer going. Y'all need to get out my feels. I need some music or something because I'm sad right now. Alright. I also need to turn my directions on because it's not like I know where I'm going. I'm at least cute for this because y'all, I look rougher than rough. So what do you guys want to talk about? So, okay, story time. On my last day of Amazon, one of my coworkers, shout out to you, Marcus, he got me a really sweet card and some candy as like a little going away present. It was, it was so nice, y'all, it was so, so nice. And um, it just made me feel really appreciated because at Amazon, I really just wasn't trying to make any friends at that job. I just wanted to be in and out, make my money and go. And it just made me feel like, wow, I don't know. I didn't know that I left such an impression on somebody for them to get me something. Even as small as it was, he didn't have to give me anything. So that just made me feel good. And it's crazy because um, he gave me that gift. And then this other guy was like, you're leaving? And I was like, yeah. And this girl came up to me and she was like, are you excited to go back to school on Saturday? And it was just crazy because I really didn't talk to anybody at that job. I talked to like literally like three people. And just to know that people actually cared that I was leaving and they asked questions and were lightweight concerned like, why are you leaving? This made me feel special, but it also made me think like you don't really know really watching you so always just leave a lasting impression wherever you are even if it's not at a job whether it's at an internship wherever you go on your on a day-to-day -day basis people are watching you even though you don't think that they are just always be the best version of yourself don't go to work with no attitude and acting just any kind of way people are watching you even if you don't think that they are so be the best version of yourself word of the day uh -huh. all right let's get these tunes bumping
in this place, but with COVID happening, I was unemployed for so long. I have no money because unemployment has a job. And the university also expects the majority of undergrad residential students to change their residential plans for the fall. They got it right. So and I, cause that's all I got in the end and I need to get over. Okay, let's just. like we're more so on the ground now I like this I like the idea of being lower and closer to the ground because these mountains like you're so high up 2,000 years later I don't even like driving I need a chauffeur a few moments later bro I've driven through rain like three times on this drive and it's only halfway 12 seconds later Y'all, I'm finna get some juice and I'm finna be on my merry way because I'm just ready to get there. Like, Y'all, I was acting so dumb when I was trying to pump the gas in my car. I kept using the wrong knob, so I was at this gas station probably about 15 minutes looking stupid. driving in the Virginias it literally looks like your your um what is the word that I'm trying to say um oh yeah it looks like I'm gonna fall off the earth Woo, Jesus thank you Jesus for helping me almost there almost there almost there y'all am I slow I'm still driving this is my least favorite part going through the doggone tunnel River Mountain. Hmm. Oh, at least nobody's right next to me. Ah, much, much, much later. So it's starting to get a little foggy. I think I'm actually. miles from Charlotte, North Carolina. So, baby. And my school is like, basically, I'm 20 minutes from Charlotte. So, I'm so excited because I know for a fact that there is light at the end of this tunnel. After a long eight hours, I finally made my way to South Carolina. So thank you guys for coming on this road trip with me.